words of wisdom for tonight? Words of wisdom. Put on a do me. coat. Don't be like Wade. Don't come to Norway with just a sweatshirt on. Hey, that's what I did. It worked out fine. Excuse me, who's still alive and who's the f***ing sicky one? That's right. <laughs> sicky one? <laughs> I'm perfectly Nancy. healthy. <laughs> I'm not little sick. B- right. over here. Oh, I'm so sick. I'm fine. Why? Because this, this lovely sponsored hashtag ad Twitch jacket keeps me very warm and comfy. It's a showdown. Check one. Who's going to blink first? Who will blink first? Who? Well, it's me. And it was me. Turn you down in the side field. Da, da, da. Hey, check one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Check one, two, one, two. Uh, have yourself a nice Coca-Cola while you're in town, too. Hashtag ad. Continue. Well, excuse me. Keep going. You gotta pay the bills. Keep going with those ads. <laughs> Alright, well. This is a nice iPhone 6. I'd like an upgraded iPhone 10. Hashtag ad. Sponsor me. Alright. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna start sponsoring people now. There's that. There's a pocket. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. What's going on? Singing the blues. Mm-hmm. Twelve bar blues and thirteen bar blues. Oh, you know which bar. If I have to explain it to you, you don't know the blues. I've been told uh, there's a course at your university that uh, specializes in the blues. Yeah. It's called Blues 203. There is no 101, there is no 201. It starts at 203. Because, like I said, we have to explain it to you. You don't know the blues. Oh, I see. Can you answer any uh, criticism that you've been just appropriating uh, another culture's music for your own profit? And whose who's culture would the blues be? Okay, excuse you. There's no human that is blue. Can you get the f*** out of my face? Great. Smurfs, maybe, but... You're filling up I, this morning and I was like chocolate. Chocolate. This is this for... Condoleezza Rice. <laughs> She'll be it too. Well, she just felt like coming. <laughs> I didn't even get her a ticket. She bought one. That's nice. Very generous. Got a lot of aggression in you. <laughs> I yeah. am a ball of rage. Uh, no! Ready to kill. Ah! Oh! oh, God, I really stubbed my cold heart on the, the rock. There's nothing quite like a good sword. How many men have you killed? Uh, you, there's nothing really you like a good sword. You want to know the answer to that question. Mm-hmm. And I can't legally disclaim. Yeah. Well, is it more or less than ten? It's about to be one more if you keep asking questions. Who'd you say? All right. What's the best way to kill a man? What's your check one two? Listen, grab him by the neck. You just keep squeezing. Toby don't do no sound yeah, check. You squeeze them. You just keep squeezing right. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. until their neck explodes. Uh, what? Sure. And they're dead. The story of how I flipped my dad's dog. Oh, how I scarred my brother's friend. All right. So this story is gonna make me look like a bit of an asshole. Uh, when my brother was probably like eight years old, maybe a little bit younger, old, uh, somewhere around that age. Uh, he watched the Scream movies with me, so Scream 1, 2, and 3, the ghost face guy. And, uh, I had a, a Scream costume I was gonna wear for, for Halloween. And my brother had his friend over, and we had this boat, that my, uh, my older brother's boat, it was my grandpa's boat, my grandpa's boat parked in our, uh, car garage. And my brother and his friend liked to play in the boat. So while they were playing in the boat, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna get in my costume and scare them. So I got into this screen costume. I climbed out my bedroom window. There was like a back entrance to our garage. So I went through the back entrance of our garage and I climbed and hid like under the boat. And when my brother and his friend were done playing, they hopped out of the boat and my brother left the garage. His friend was a few steps behind. So I grabbed his friend and put my hand over his mouth and went shh with my hand on my lips. And it scared him enough where he was just like, so I guess he didn't realize it was me. Uh, I also had this like little toy knife with like fake blood, so after I told his friend to be quiet, uh, I stepped out from the garage and he turned around and was like, uh, I forget what his friend's name was at this point, but he like said his friend's name, but instead of his friend stepping out, it was me, and I wiped off the fake blood on this knife, and uh, he just stands there and just starts screaming in place, and it was the most horrible, amazing, funny, hilarious, terrible thing I've ever done. And I think it scarred him forever, and his friend never came back to play at our house again.
Phil, I love you. You know I love you, right? You know I love you. Anyway, back to the story about the man made of paper. W.B. Mason. Who but W.B. Mason? He said, didn't come in until after I had like a hundred puppies. Like Just working on the technique. Normal size. Just working on the technique. Like five pound puppy size. Some for me to explain a uh, cork triton sure. to you? Please. Who but me, by the way. It's a, uh, it's a clickety You know, the man made a paper. Uh -huh. And it makes you know some, about like, la-la sounds. Everybody knows oh, only la-la land, huh? La, like, la no, 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 no. Anyway. <laughs> Not that garbage. <laughs>